Welcome to lecture 18. In this lecture, we will quantify integrated rate law expressions for multi-step reactions. This lecture will be divided into two parts. In the first part, we will introduce what is a multi-step reaction. We will define what is an elementary reaction and calculate integrated rate law expressions for multi-step reactions. We will also introduce the rate determining step. Next, we will demonstrate two common approximations used to simplify multi-step reaction mechanisms. The first is when equilibrium are involved, and the second is called the steady state approximation. The overall chemical reaction for a given process is typically written as some set of reactants, denoted here as A, which produces some set of products, P. However, many chemical reactions occur in a series of steps. A reaction mechanism is a collection of individual steps that transforms reactants to products. For example, the above reaction may in fact involve an intermediate, I, where the reactants A first turn into this intermediate before reacting again to become the product P. Since a reaction seldom takes place according to the balanced chemical reaction, the challenge is to identify the individual steps. Consider the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide where two hydrogen peroxide molecules decompose into two water molecules and an oxygen molecule. When the reaction is catalyzed by iodide ions, the rate law is expressed as the rate being equal to a rate constant K times the concentration of hydrogen peroxide times the concentration of the iodide ions. The reaction mechanism potentially follows these two steps. The first involves a reaction between hydrogen peroxide and an iodide ion to form water and IO-. And in the second part, the second hydrogen peroxide molecule reacts with the IO- formed in the previous step and results in a second water molecule, the oxygen molecule, and regenerates the iodide ion. In the correct reaction mechanism, each step is an elementary reaction. An elementary reaction is one that follows what actually happens at the molecular level, with no intermediates. For elementary reactions, the order of each component in the rate law expression follows the stoichiometry of the balanced reaction. Recall that it was previously stated that the order cannot be determined from stoichiometry. The certainty of this previous statement is now being amended, since we were talking then about overall reaction mechanisms. The stoichiometry indicating the order of a component is only true for elementary reactions. Using our peroxide decomposition reaction example, assuming we have the correct mechanism and they are elementary reactions, we can then write the rate law expressions using the stoichiometry of the balanced chemical reactions. So, for the first step, the rate law expression can be given as the rate being equal to a rate constant times the concentration of hydrogen peroxide times the concentration of iodide ions. And for the second step, the rate law expression can be expressed as the rate being equal to a rate constant times the concentration of hydrogen peroxide times the concentration of IO-.